Welcome back to GTA Online. Today, we've got a brand new car in GTA Online. We might have a new fastest car in this game. Last time we played GTA, we unlocked this thing, our Dodge Charger Hellcat. This thing was so, so sick to drive around. I absolutely love it. And it even has gun. Not even a joke. If you missed that video, I'll link to it in the description down below. Rockstar's given us a free vehicle. It must be a Christmas miracle. I will take that. Thank you. Anyways, that's not what I wanted to mess around with. This is the Zeno in this game. Also known as the SSC Tawatara. It costs 2.8 million bucks. And this could be an absolute rocket. For those of you who don't know, in real life, the SSC Tawatara sort of kind of set the world's fastest top speed. Uh, until people looked into it a little bit more and figured out that SSC actually cheated. Regardless, this thing in real life can do over 300 miles an hour. And I want to see how fast it is in this game. So... 2.8 million bucks. That is a ton of money. Wait, did my car spawn in down here? Yes, it did. All right, here we go. Look at this absolute speed machine. SSC Tawatara. Obviously, we need to build this thing to go as fast as we can in a straight line. But at the same time, I also want to race this thing around some of the racetracks. So we'll see what we can do. Armor, we're not going to do any missions. So we're going to save our money there. Brakes, if we are going 300 miles miles an hour. We're definitely going to want some upgraded brakes. Let's go for that. Front bumper. We have 16 different options. Okay. So we've got some splitters to make it a little bit more race car -y. I like that. Carbon fiber. A double little race car front splitter there. Very nice. Got some canards on there. That's very race car -y. That is even more race car- um, Rockstar does realize that clips into itself, right? I think I like this one a little bit more. Let's go for that. A nice little front bumper there. Rear bumpers. We've got 60. Oh, okay. That is a big old diffuser. Usually you have like four of those, not uh, 16. Yo, I already love the customization on this thing. That is awesome. That is so race car -y. I totally gotta go with that. That is so, so sick. I love the look of that, okay? After that, we can come to our engine, max upgrade that for 30,000 bucks, okay? Exhaust, we have 20. We've got some really cool triangle titanium exhaust. Those look sick, aluminum exhaust. You don't see that very often. A circle one, some square ones, titanium, aluminum, the triple bore exhaust. That might even fit the look of this car a little bit better. I think I really like this one, the aluminum triple bore exhaust. That looks so sick. Somebody in Twitch chat's like, it's the type R exhaust. Yeah, sort of, kind of. 14 different front hoods. So carbon fiber the entire thing. Add on like a nice bevel there. Carbon fiber with the bevel. Some vents. That looks pretty good, actually, okay? Full carbon fiber really doesn't look nice. That looks really sick. That's also really nice. Some fender vents over there. And eh, that's really nice. But I think my favorite's actually this one. Yeah, it's just it's just a clean looking hood. Our livery will come back to in a second. Mirrors. Now, there are some different mirrors you can do on here. You can swap to no mirrors, primary mirrors, carbon fiber mirrors. However, Kimmy actually did this earlier and there's currently a glitch with the mirrors. And for some reason, if you hit a curb, it will genuinely flip your vehicle up into the air. So it's kind of undrivable. Rockstar needs to fix it. So, so Kimmy says we can drive either with the stock mirrors or no mirrors. If we swap to the primary or the carbon fiber mirrors, then we'll get into some glitches. So I guess we're going to go no mirrors. If we're going top speed, no mirrors, no extra drag. That's looking pretty good. License plate. We got to go with the yellow on the black. Respray. We'll come back to that as well. Our roof. Okay. If if we could, yo, that's really cool. I was gonna say though, if we could carbon fiber it, that would be really nice. Okay, you can see there's two little bumps in our roof there. That's kind of cool. They're all very subtle though. They're actually really hard to see all of these. Side skirts, we have 22 different options. So we're definitely gonna need something like this with that orange trim down the bottom. So it ties in with our rear bumper and our front bumper. So 
We'll need something kind of like that. Jeez. Okay. Yo, yo. How does the door even open? Okay, so you can properly make this thing into a race car. Uh... <laughs> Part of me really wants to do it. That is crazy. I'm just saying, if that's what the side skirts look like, how crazy are the rear wings gonna be? Twitch chat is asking for a full send build. We are going full send. So you know what? Let's toss on those. And then let's come back to our bumpers and swap on the same thing up here. You guys wanted full send. We are going full send on here. Anyways, after our side skirts, then we come to our spoilers. We have 17 different ones. So very subtle rear wing there. That actually looks really nice. If I was a normal person, I would probably run that. But I know Twitch chat likes to make me ruin my vehicles. I really like that rear wing as well. That looks so, so sick. That's pretty cool as well. It doesn't really fit the vehicle, but it's not bad. That's also crazy. An X-wing on there. A carbon fiber X-wing. A devil rear wing that looked like devil horns. Jeez. That is so, so sick. I love rear wings that connect onto the roof like that. That is awesome. Personally, I really like this rear wing. I love the way it fits on the vehicle. Super, super aggressive. It kind of reminds me of a Koenigsegg Jesco rear wing. You know what? And it kind of ties in with our crazy side skirts and stuff. So you know what? We're going to go with that suspension, slam it all the way to the ground. Transmission, race transmission, turbo upgraded. Wheels, we need some fancy ones. Do you think we can find some like covered rims that would kind of make us look like a top speed vehicle? For vehicles that are designed to hit top speed, you'll run wheels that look like this because they don't mess up the airflow on your vehicle. And it basically means you can hit a high higher top speed, right? Obviously, that doesn't actually impact anything in GTA, but... It would be cool to kind of look the part. High five rims. I guess those look kind of good. They are really, really expensive. And then last but not least, our window tint. Our windows are already tiny. It doesn't really change anything. But that is sick. Now that we've done all of that, let's check out the liveries we've got for this thing. So a white stripe, black stripe, red pinstripe. That looks really nice. A gold pinstripe. That's really nice. Yo, that's like a Marlboro paint job. Sort of, kind of. That's really, really cool. That's really nice as well. That's not bad. That's pretty bad. I really like that one. Not bad. The liveries are not bad for this. You know what? I think I might go with this livery. I feel like that's the best. And then I can get a nice little respray that'll hopefully go with it. I kind of like the idea of a white one. Let's go with white. White looks really, really clean. I like the look of that. We do have a secondary color. So what is that? Yo, it's our little vents down at the front. Okay. Yo, that's awesome. So it's our vents at the front and in the rear. So can I get something like red? I feel like red could look really good. We can also come in, do all of our trim color as per usual. What a cool looking vehicle. God damn. Kimmy and Anchor over here. These guys have also purchased the vehicle yo i love the blue that blue looks awesome blacked out also looks awesome before we go and do any gta online races why don't we have a little top speed test myself running the ssc and Kimmy, you can run the old fastest car in this game. Kimmy is driving the Ocelot Pariah, which for those of you who don't know, is currently the fastest vehicle in this game in terms of top speed. It can do 136 miles an hour. So Kimmy, why don't we go to the airport and see which one of these is the fastest, all right? It's not a drag race. Okay, away we go. Very wheel spinny start in the snow. You can already see that thing go. I'm not gonna sit behind him. I don't want any slipstream. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? A little Corvette is faster than me? Really? Yo, I'm actually keeping up. I'm keeping up. Kimmy, can you give me a little bit of a head start on this one so we can properly be next to each other? All right, so I'm going to do all of my wheel spin, and then Kimmy's going to go. I'm going to slow down for him. Full beans. This is full beans. Come on. Full beans. 
Bruh! Full beans and it makes it look like I'm not even moving. Yo, it's close though. That is so close. When we eventually get maxed out in our top speed, they're like so close to each other. I really cannot believe I'm saying this, but I think the Pariah is still somehow the fastest vehicle in this game. It's super, super close. Considering that thing's a sports car and mine costs 2.8 million bucks, that's kind of ridiculous. Well played. Anyways, why don't we see what these things can do on a racetrack? Ank, you want to start up a race for a... What? What did I miss? We are gonna need to watch out for this one, considering it's a snowy day out here in Los Santos. For some reason, though, I'm getting the streamer luck out here, starting up in first place again, and away we go. Come on, what is that, like two, two weeks in a row now? I'm getting first place starts. Oh my god, I need to get on the brakes early. Oh my god, no grip in this thing. So this thing's obviously rear wheel drive. There is no grip. None. At all. Jeez, the understeer. Holy. Yeah, you can definitely tell anybody who's got like all-wheel drive or any ability of extra downforce or grip, they're going to do a thousand times better than we will. I just, I do not have the confidence to drive this thing in the snow quickly. Like you could even see it just... It just steps out and I'm not even pushing it very hard. I want to push it a little bit harder and catch up to the guys in front of me. But if I try to do that, I'm gone. Like, it did nothing. No grip at all. I spent nearly three million bucks on this. And it's undrivable in the snow. Rockstar, can I have an all-wheel drive swap? Like, jeez. Just casually drifting through the snow in a 2,000 horsepower shitbox. Oh, yeah, 2,000 horsepower in the snow, they said. That'd be a good idea. Said no one ever. I don't think I've ever been more disappointed with the vehicle in this game so far. No more snow for this race. That is what we want to see. Unfortunately, this time I am starting all the way at the back, but away we go. And let's see if this thing is any good out here. Come on. So we should have crazy grips. We had 16 people in this race. Let's see what This is the worst vehicle in GTA. I, I have never seen a worse vehicle before. I mean, I'm actually catching up to people in front somehow. Like, now it's kind of picking up speed. But even now, you can see it's a spinny boy. Like, it's definitely way better than it was in the snow, obviously. But the lack of grip is still just, like, embarrassing. Gaining on this guy in front. Come on. All right, that's already the end of lap number one. We've only got one more lap to go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Come on. I know I've got straight line speed. We can take this guy down 100%. Please don't go too fast. He went too fast. Oh, he landed it though. We're gaining. We're gaining. Yo, look at the speed. We just overtook that guy in the air. You can see our top speed. We're reeling him in very, very slowly. Oh my god, he's just got, he's got so much more grip than I do, though. I cannot go around the corners at the same speed. I think Rockstar tried to make this vehicle, like, the fastest car in the game. And the way they did that is, one, gave it a whole bunch of horsepower. So it spins up its wheels super quickly. And then the way it achieves its top speed is by having no grip from those tires at all. And it kind of gives you the impression that it goes faster than it actually does. But when you do those two things and give a vehicle a whole bunch of horsepower and reduce the amount of grip that it has, it just makes it uncontrollable to actually drive. I have a feeling that's what they Pretend did and I that's why it's so hard to here. drive. I'm On one hand, this is a super, super awesome car. It's got some beautiful customization that is super, super unique. Like. The front bumper looking the way it does, those ridiculous looking side skirts that actually break up into two pieces like 
Stuff like that is so cool. Our awesome looking X-Wing, our triple exhaust. I mean, if you want to drive it and just do some general cruising with it, maybe do a mission or two, then I'm sure it's an awesome car. But if you actually want to race a supercar like this, nah, nah, not even close.